Hello everybody, this is Thursday on Equally Awesome. So my internet wasn't working, so I've had to come out to the hill tonight to go and do this vlog in an alley. Bit of irony, just a block away from me, over yonder, is a bathhouse for women. Over here is the burrito place where I just had dinner. And over yonder is uh, Home Alive, one of my favorite um, nonprofit advocacy groups in the area that teaches self-defense. So I'm, I'm pretty well surrounded. I got my basic needs pretty well taken care of here. Bob, your <laughs> McCain made me laugh my ass off. I thought that was hilarious. Although I would recommend trying to date uh, nice people uh, rather than speed dating because that's much bullshit. So why don't we get right on into the questions, shouldn't we? Uh, winter win. First of all, everybody go over to her channel. She's in, you know, a bit of a spot and just give her some love. Just give her some love and thank you so much for the shout out as well. Uh, what part of my body would I want to be robotic? Um, I would want my arm so that I can have a lightsaber. I think that'd be fucking hot. Uh, Mark crushes male and female. I'll admit this right now, for years now I've played a little game called if I were a guy, what, I, what would I want to look like? And laugh at me all you want. For me, if I were a dude, my number one pick would be <laughs> Armstrong, the lead singer of Green Day. I just think he is just really fucking hot and really cool, and that's just like what I would want to be. Uh, crush is female. I've always had a huge crush on Alice and Janie from The West Wing and other films. I think she's a brilliant actress and a brilliant person. Sophia, impression we falsely give off. Okay, tell me if this has ever happened to you. It doesn't matter, right, that we're all gay or that I'm in a gay bar. And the irony here is whenever I go to a gay bar, I actually have to advertise rather than, you know, maybe try to hide a little bit of my, you know, gay whateverness, my gay, my gayness or whatever the hell you want to call it. Like I used to wear a rainbow band on my arm. I wear a lot of rainbow bracelets. I mean, shit like that, that I find rather tacky, but I need to get my point across. What the hell am I going to do? So <laughs> it doesn't matter, right, that we're all gay, whatever. I'm still the girl. In that case, I have friends, former friends, total strangers even coming up to me going, oh, hey, will you watch this? Or will you watch my drink? Or will you hold on to my spot here? I don't know what if it says like doormat on my fucking forehead or whatever, but I'll tell you right now, quit asking me to watch your shit. I had a couple friends who I used to be very close to who did this all of the time all of the time and I finally just quit hanging out with them and I'll tell you there is nothing you can do to me nothing you can say to me that I will find more offensive than you asking me to watch your stuff especially when I don't even know you I had to tell one guy if you leave that here I'm gonna hide it and you're never gonna see it again seriously it is such bullcrap I can't even tell you so whatever vibe it is I'm giving off it needs to end here and now you know what I'm saying um Bob, I will answer your question when I get inside because I didn't have internet today and I couldn't freaking find it. So isn't that nice? Okay, so now I'm in the bathroom at the coffee shop where I'm going to answer Mark's question. Dream date? Dream date? Are you serious? For cereal? I don't date. I don't date, Mark. So actually, I will admit though, I've had some wonderful dates. Um, ones that ended up in parks on swings, talking and lots of nice conversation. I've also had some... People who are with the crazies, with the with the loonies, with the loonies. So I'll tell you this: I want my dream date is with someone who doesn't have a boyfriend, doesn't have a girlfriend, hasn't recently broke up with a boyfriend or a girlfriend, doesn't have children, isn't insane, and takes their medication regularly and at the correct dose. That's my dream date. I'm serious. Oh, and they have to have a job, and we can't go to this dive piss hole of a lesbian bar that so many people want to go to. I don't know why people go there, it's a shithole. But yeah, underline, underline the takes medication regularly. That'll do it for me. My question is, what is the dumbest thing you have heard either said or asked about the gay community? Mine, there are two of them. You need to get your engine checked, honey. Um, I was doing the first January 20 anti-war march and I heard this girl say to her friend, quote, I can't stand those girls that are femme and claim to be lesbians. They're not real lesbians. Yeah, thanks. And to this day, I wish I would have said something. My other example, um, a few years ago, I was in the Pride Parade. I'm always in the Pride Parade, but a few years ago, I was lined up for the Pride Parade and we're waiting to go. And if you've ever done this before, you like hurry up and wait quite a bit for Pride. So I'm standing in line and I'm waiting with this woman. And she's a stone-cold butch. I mean, she looks like John Goodman, this woman. 
and we're waiting in line and the group ahead of us is called Femme Visibility and there's all these really cute femme girls dressed up and they look really cute, they were having fun and this butch bitch turns to them and she's like Femme Visibility? I don't know what that's about and I looked her in her fat face and I was like it's because we get a lot of shit from people like you and I walked off so that's my question, what is the dumbest thing you've ever heard said or had asked of the gay community? And finally, I would like to close this out by saying, go to my girl Brianna Rose's channel and give her some love. She does this wonderful series about her transition into from a male to a female, and it's like the most inspiring thing I've ever seen. And last weekend, I believe it was on August 30th, she went full time as a woman, and she looks great, and she's doing really well. And now season two of her uh, YouTube channel is called like I think it's called like Into the Light. But go over there and write. Um, don't dim your light and then anything else you want to write but definitely write don't dim your light so that she knows it's from us because she's so made of awesome mm -hmm.